So today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my Erin Condren vertical. And I do have the colorful planner. And today I'm using a kit from the Standard Essential. I am not positive if this shop is still in business. If it is, I will put the link down below. I am pretty sure, though, however, even if it is, it might be hard to get this set because I've had it for a long time. I put a lot of sets on hold last year because I didn't have an Erin Condren, so I was kind of waiting to use, to get one, to use some of these kits. I was using, I think, a Happy Planner for the last year and a half, two years. We did have an Erin Condren in the house, but my husband was using it for measurements, and lots of times he scribbled on it, and I did not want to use a planner that had been scribbled on. Y'all know how that is. <laughs> This pretty washi that says wise, loyal, brave, ambitious is from the Planner Sophisticate collaboration with Simply Gilded. And I am using it because, well, number one, it kind of goes with it, I think, a little bit. And also because I wanted to add a little, a little bit of foiling. And plus, uh, any excuse to use Simply Gilded Washi in my spreads. So, I apologize if you can hear my dogs. It seems like they've been quiet up until I decide to film. Um, this week is kind of a calmer week. Last week was so busy. Come here. Stop it. Come. I want to just chat with you guys a little bit about my writing and what's going on with me. So I have a, I had a release last week, I think it was. Um, on the 14th I had a Western Bride release and then this week is mostly dedicated to editing. I have two books that I have to get edited and out and then plus I'm mailing out prizes, I am decluttering a little bit. Um, started off with this office that I work in and I I belong to a planner group here in town and so the, any of the stickers and stuff like that that I declutter I can take them to my next meetup. The bad thing is, the good thing is that you can get rid of a lot of stuff, the bad thing is that you can also turn around and pick up a lot of stuff. So I am hoping that I can resist any cute goodies that are there. Uh, I can't tell if that's white on the top or if it's the... I think it needs to go up a little bit. Anyway, I have two little bins full of stuff that I'm taking to de-stash. And then I have one little tiny bin that I have stuff that I'm going to be selling. You know, just for a minimal fee, just because I want to recoup some of the amount that I paid. A couple of them are Kiki K planners and Kiki K planners are fairly expensive so I'm not just going to de-stash them. I'm going to sell them for you know just a little bit maybe $15, $20 anyways and you know that's not bad when I pay like $80 for them. So I'm sure somebody will love them and be excited to find them. So today I am going to be doing a rather simple spread because since I am not super busy and I don't have to leave for a lot of things, I can um, do a lot of uh, administrative work and a lot of, what do you call that stuff? <laughs> administrative work and, you know, stuff around the house and stuff like that. I do have to leave the house on Thursday and Friday, but 
today and tomorrow I don't really have to leave so I'm gonna take advantage of that fact and take get some work done okay I do have headers but I also have these really pretty glittery cover so I'm trying to decide you know sometimes it's kind of silly to use the to-dos because obviously that's what these are the list of things that you're gonna do uh, so I'm kind of torn right now because I always do my top three but then I also have lists of things to do so I'm trying to decide how to do this so first of all let me just start with these I'm gonna cover up I'm gonna kind of do like I said I'm doing the very simple spread today where I'm just gonna be putting everything like in a very uniform look because this week has not happened yet and I don't know what all I'm doing so so a lot of it is gonna be left blank for me to fill in as the week progresses and yeah so today I finished edits on a pirate book that is due to my publisher because I do have one publisher it's due to her them I think next beginning of December I mean oh, what month am I in beginning of February I'm pretty sure it's due like next this end of this week or next week so I already got the edits back I listened to the whole book made a very few changes and then I am going to go ahead and forward it to my publisher once it comes back in the next day or two from my proofreader I just feel uncomfortable lately sending anything I don't know which one to use this one or this one I'm gonna go with the I think I'm gonna go with the lighter one. Anyway, as I was saying, I feel com uncomfortable sending anything to the publisher without it being proofread. I just wanna send my best work forward. Um, so it's a novella, it's part of a project with the uh, publisher, so that is why I am paying for my editor and paying for my, uh, my proofreader and everything like that. If it was just straight through them, then they would obviously be the ones paying for that so yeah this is part of the Pirates of Britannia that I am doing with um, Eliza Knight and Catherine Levesque if you guys like pirates or handsome hunky heroes um, if you haven't tried a pirate book you know try them I uh, my first book with them pirates is called the sea lion the sea lion s l y o n and the book that I'm writing right now is The Sea Lord, and it is the sequel to it, and it's the sea lion's first mate. So you get to learn a little bit more about him, because a lot of the readers were intrigued about his story once uh, they met him in The Sea Lion. So it's a cute story. It's not very long, and it's, it's um, romantic. It's more on the sweet side. Because with it being like only, with it being sort of short, I couldn't like, I didn't want them to jump into bed. It was really not realistic, especially for that day and time. So they did kiss a couple times and it, it was, it's still sensual, but yeah, I think you guys will like it. And then I'm doing the edits as soon later on today. I'm going to start today on the edits for... Isabel, a an independent bride, and that one releases next month on the twelfth. And I'm gonna put the link down below for Isabel because oh my gosh, these things are kind of like I'm so afraid to tear them because Isabel is on pre-order at a special price of ninety nine cents, and then once it releases, the price goes up to two ninety nine. So. If you guys could order it, order it now because that way you can get it at the special price. All right, so I've decided that I am going to put the top three. Where are they? Here they are. On these three. I mean, on the top, on the, during the days of the week because, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to put the top three here because. 
I really like to be able to mark off the top three things that I do every day. And I'm probably not going to write it uh, in on camera. Only because I'm kind of still in this new setup and I have to reach around the podium to put my stickers down. And not podium. What is this thing called? Around this tripod to put my stickers down and it is this the same color notes. Um, so it makes it kind of awkward to write. I think this one should be next. And then for the weekend, I normally don't have a top three, so for the weekend, I am going to use this full on checklist. I don't know how you guys plan your writing, but I have a notebook, and then um, and I am going to make a video of that notebook. I just keep, it's not that I'm putting it off, it's just that it's so messy because I write in it all the time. And I want to kind of, I, I do want to keep it real, but at the same time, you know, I have to make sure I don't have stuff on there that I don't need to disclose yet and stuff like that so this weekend banner is another thing that I'm always like obviously people know this is a weekend so anyway on Mondays I have my phone calls as you guys know with my accountability partner and I am going to use a gray one here for that and I am going to put, I'm trying to think, I think I'm going to use uh, somebody, a different, uh, different markers today. I want to use something a little bit more soft and sophisticated, so I'm not going to be using my normal, I think I'm going to go with Emily's Papery and just use something, because these are so soft and cute, I think I can use those for different things and, you know, to attract attention. But they're not going to be necessarily what is happening, just something to make it stand, stand out. So I have all these pretty little stickers from Emily's Papery. And then I think for Monday, let's go with Eat Cake for Breakfast. I'm going to use that one here to mark my phone call. And then on the 20th, which was this Monday, this already happened. And then I also had to, hold on. Oh, so this I also have tons, tons, and did I say tons of laundry to do? I'm gonna use this guy here and put it like this. And then the kid does have the super cute um, basket to mark laundry, so I'm gonna do that and put it here. <coughs> Excuse me, I have this really dry, scratchy throat. I was a little bit sick earlier this week <coughs> sorry and then I did do my nails on Monday and then I undid my nails <laughs> but I did do them um, okay all right and I think that's all that I did on Monday and then on Tuesday which is yesterday I today is Tuesday sorry I'm all confused and then today I spent all the morning doing edits so I'm gonna use one of these big ones to denote that because it was an edits day. I'm gonna cover up the cup a little bit, but that's okay. And for that, I am gonna use, I think one of these candles. I'm gonna go with the, since I have a little bit of gold, I'm gonna use a gold candle. And I'm just gonna set it in the, ooh, I was gonna do it in the middle, but I guess it'll go on this side. And then today I also mailed a bunch of packages to some readers that I really had to get out. And I am so proud of myself for doing that. And I hope that there's some kind of mail icon for this kit. Um, I don't think there is. Okay, so my plan for... Uh, there is a package one, so maybe I'll just use the package one down here. Let's go with this light one. It's like a box. 
And I'm just going to write male here. And then my dog, Lola, has a vet appointment at 4. And then this evening I don't have any plans. So what I'll do is for the vet appointment, since I already used this little candle, let's go with... I might just have to pull out my little Lola's. I can't take it. I can't take it. I have to use something else. I was going to try to stick to just those stickers, but any chance to get Lola on my planner, I have to do it. Oh, darn. And that one that keeps barking is my youngest dog, Pippa. She's still a puppy and she does not listen. Okay, Wednesday, I am also, like I said, staying home. I have, um, I'm going to start the writing on uh, my next book, which is kind of a secret project. Not really secret, but it's not, it's a group project, I should say, and we haven't released it, the information to readers yet, so I can't really talk about that. But it will be, um... It would be cool once everybody can find out about it. So let's use this pretty one here. It kind of matches. And then also I wanted to use, I just saw this here. Where was it? Uh, Happy Mail. And since I'm mailing out packages, I think that that's perfect here. Uh, I'm going to put it here. I got some cool packages in the mail today. Some swag and a... I ordered this purse and I, um, you know, the Facebook ads that show up, the pop-ups. I ordered a purse from there and it, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> but you can't really return stuff you get from China, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm probably going to give it away. Just wasted money there. Okay, and then tomorrow evening, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I don't think I have anything. I do have to tidy up a couple rooms, so let me see if I have something for tidying up here. Mm, they have, uh, oh, nope. well, hmm, I don't like these little tiny ones. So I might have to break out another sticker. I'm still going to try to stick to the ones that I said, but... There's certain things you just can't, y'all. Certain things I just have to use a sticker from my sticker stash. And a lot of you guys ask me about this, how I get all these stickers. I organize them kind of, sort of, by kind in my, in these binders. They're kind of thick and I got them from Honey Bee Shop. They're super cute. And I just put anything that I have from different shops in here. And then I can use, see I was looking in here for something to do with laundry or cleaning, but like this girl here, she's not doing anything. She is definitely not cleaning, but I do have one of these cute little cleaning. So I'm not going to go through every stick. One of these days, maybe I'll do a video for you guys with my, um, who all I have stickers from and how I organize them. It's really not a big system. Actually, I just have two big binders with sticker sets and then two of these little binders with two of these little binders with um, smaller sticker sheets. And then I have like a metal basket where I have my me and my big ideas ones kind of stacked up. OK, Thursday, I am going to be going to lunch with my friends as you guys know or may not know I go to lunch every Thursday we're going to Panera so I'm going to use this guy here I like this kid I'm not so sure about this whole bra thing okay that one's too big I'm not too keen on the whole bra and I guess it's like a boudoir kind of sexy thing or something I don't know maybe it's just me being goofy I'm going to put this down here just because. Okay, so I'm going out to lunch with friends. And for that, I am going to use... I thought there was a coffee cup that was really cute. And the ones that I pulled out. Yes, this guy here. This is so cute. I just want to hold a coffee cup that looks like this. I can make one, I guess. Okay, and then for Thursday evening... Hubby and I decided that we were going to kind of do a night in. 
I told him dude, he wanted to do date night and he just kind of stared. But I'm still going to put this here. And so we might just order dinner and do a night in. Either this day or this day. But I want to say some, there was something that he wanted to plan on Thursday. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to say date night. And then on Friday I have a hair appointment. And I'm so excited because... It's way overdue. So I have bad news and good news. The bad news is that my hairdresser is retiring from doing hair. Too much pink in that section. And that breaks my heart for her because it's what she was born to do, but her health is not really allowing it. And so, you guys know how that is. The whole journey of finding a new hairdresser is killing me. I'm not very happy about it. I'm just kind of trying to process the whole thing and what's going to happen. It takes me a lot to find one that I that I feel comfortable with mainly because I am multiracial and it is hard to for people to do my hair. So oh, this is from Colourpop. I'm, I'm getting a haircut and hair smoothing so gonna be a very expensive trip and then Friday evening I plan to take it easy I got it I got some reading to do and maybe watch a movie or something like that so I'm just gonna put this here like that for movies and then I'm gonna put a something on here that says uh I don't think I'll see anything that I want I will I'm gonna put this payday here uh, because it's payday and I don't know if, I think I'm gonna put a one of these here just because something might come up and I can just put it in there I have a feeling I'm forgetting something but then I always forget something okay and then Saturday I want to read and my husband and I are in the I want to read but my husband and I are going on a road trip to Hilda South Carolina because, just because it's Hilda, South Carolina. <laughs> Y'all know my, my name is Hilda. And even though I go by Hildy. And so, um, yeah, we're going to go to Hilda and he wants to take pictures. I'm just going to see what they got there kind of thing. So I'm going to put that there for that. These are from Sticker Blush. And then, uh, so that's going to be Saturday, probably do this and that and the other. Sunday is church and then after church we go to lunch and then after that I'm going to cover some of these hearts out because normally we do church and then lunch and then the rest of the day I I plan to do some planning. You know what I'm gonna no that looks crazy. I'm just gonna put it down here and then I'm gonna put this one that says planning time because I want to do some planning and then I am going to put another one of these cute cuties another oh, bark again okay let's see I think hubby's home so you guys I will come back in a minute and show you guys what the finish spread looks like Okay, this is it. That's all I have for right now. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel and make sure to check out my Facebook, my Amazon page and enjoy your week. I wanted to show you guys one other thing before I end the video. 
This is my small Kiki K that I have and I carry with me in my planner bag. And I just have some cute um, clips here on the inside of it. It has a clip that my friend made, another clip that a friend gave me. This I ordered or either got with an order. This little bunny I've had forever and I just have it taped on a little card here. And this clip is made by another friend. It's a little purse with a bow on it. Um, this is from Teresa Collin and it's a quote back here that says, push your limits. And then this washi card here I kind of made myself. And here's another cute clip that I got as a gift. There's some swag. And a cover, little cover picture that I ordered on Etsy. And anyway, um, in the front I have my months. And I printed these from the Planner Sophisticate and they're printables. And then for my weeklies, I ordered these from So Much Crafting and it's SCW Much Crafting. And it's she has a, also on Etsy, I believe. I will put her link down below. But with the leftover stickers from that, I the this spread I just did, I went ahead and decorated the last week of January. I bring it in just a little bit so you guys can see. I used some of the little same decor, and then all those little dots that I didn't use on the other spread, I went ahead and put them here for whatever reasons that I knew was going things that were going on so I wanted to go ahead and use up the leftovers and I still have more leftover I have the day covers and a bunch of um the little skinny ones like this that have these icons on the end that I can use for yet another week or whatever so yeah there's many things that you can do with the kits that's the reason that they're worth the money because you can do a spread and then whatever you have left over you can make a different spread so yeah, I hope this gives you guys some ideas of what to do and how to make your stickers last and longer and what all you can do with them. All right. Now, I really am ending it this time. Have a good one. Bye.